Hey everybody, welcome back to Back Country Amateur Radio. I've been out, um, I hiked up here for two hours, came across some cat tracks, and out here by myself in cat country. So, um, I set up a 20 meter dipole. Took a little longer than I figured, but it's alright. I found a tree at the summit, which is remarkable around here. Um, but as I went to operate and connect the, uh, the mic, I ran into a problem. I'm going to show you what this is. I'm going to turn the radio on. We'll connect. The mic is connected, and uh, you'll see what I'm talking about. Okay, watch the this bot, dot. Radio, there it is. It's in transmit. So I've been having to use the radio like this. The mic is by the frequency dial speaker. Um, but yeah, so anyway, there's a, there's a few things that I'm going to talk about here on this radio. But it's really interesting that you can use this radio like, like a brick. Watch. A Kilo India 7 Whiskey Juliet Papa. That's okay. Um, I ended my contacts at about 1740 UTC. Um, and I, uh, due to just the nature of the mic problem, I'm probably not going to continue. I am in the eye of a snowstorm. Pretty, isn't it? So... Yeah, I'll probably pack up and get out of here. Got the down coat, which I have not needed yet. Um, operating station. It was snowing a little bit earlier. Tim Ortiz's 20 meter ultralight dipole, which is perfect. It operates actually up to about 25 watts. Signal reports today were all five. Five and three, five and four, five and seven. Um, so that's great. When I hear a five, that means my audio is just coming through great. I just have uh, the, the signals just making it, but the audio is good. So that's fantastic. This problem I had is actually uh, probably something to do with the new firmware and the fact that this is a pre-production model. Uh, this is the same one that K8 MRD had and um, I, I believe there are some issues that weren't able to be fixed with f uh, software updates or firmware updates and that probably exacerbated some of the, the issues that existed with the hardware. And pack up and probably get out of here. So thanks all and I'll catch you next time on this, probably on the same subject for a little while dealing with the, uh, the X6100. It's getting a little wet. Things are starting to thaw. It is. Just a little afternoon local time. It's 1800 UTC. You can see my loan tracks up here. Well, the way out, I got an email from somebody uh, about soda. Question mark, am I still up there? Well, with the technical problems and the winter storm moving in, again, the second part of it for the day, I figured I probably better get a move on. It's about a four mile hike out. But it was eye-opening. Going back through my mental log of activity with this radio, I realized that I've been messing around with the onboard mic. Now, I don't know if there's some setting that changed when the mic was plugged in, but I'm pretty sure that's not normal. We'll find out. We'll find out from Radioddity. So I encourage you all to check back with me down the road, hopefully just in a few days. <laughs> Look at this. This is Grapple, where super frozen bits of moisture circulate over and over and over snowflakes, and they pick up what's called rime. And eventually, they turn into these little soft styrofoam balls of snow. Look at that valley. That's Wallsburg. There's Deer Creek Reservoir out there. 
And behind those clouds is an 11,000 foot mountain called Timpanogos. I'll be out there this summer working with the TURT team as a communications guy. They use ham radio operators. It's a pretty cool thing. I'm going to try to do a couple videos about it. It's home. Life in the mountains, friends. Embrace it while you can, if you can. That's all snow. Ah.